Okay, let me uh, start the second session. Um, I noticed that uh, it might it might be quite different, uh, difficult for you to to uh, grasp, grasp the uh, the meaning of qualitative research in general and specifically for the uh, tradition. So uh, it, uh, the discussion with you. Uh, let me uh, go back to. That example. First, I approach you and ask a question like, uh, "Can you speak English well or not?" So it's like more a structured and yes/no based uh, question. And with such kind of question, there there is not much space for you. And so uh, we have to think about the research purpose and things like that. Uh, if my research purpose is to test my, my hypothesis, then the best uh, question should be like, can you speak English well or not, and, or things like that. But uh, if I only ask a single person about the question that I would like to get, which is your English proficiency as an English major, uh, the way I ask you a question may not be a good one. Rather than asking one person, maybe I, I collect a lot of people, okay? Maybe 100 English major students, and maybe I can test something, okay? To get the answer for that. For the second one, what is the meaning of English to you? And why are you here? Uh, that could be more like open-ended, uh, general one. So from those questions, you might think about your life, uh, starting from early in the morning to the late at night. Maybe you can tell me a story about your life here in South Korea. Uh, who uh, is bugging you a lot, or who is the gangster, or things like that or even that one. For that case, if the purpose of my research is not to test the hypothesis, but explore your meaning-making process, I do have a right choice, okay? So maybe I can interview you, and then I transcribe, and I, I, I could possibly code, and things like that. And then, because I pick up only one person to explore her life, I need to collect multiple sources of data. For example, maybe observation, maybe a interview with your uh, English teacher, and maybe uh, your friend, or TOEIC, or TOEFL scores, or things like that. What I'm talking about here is about the data triangulation. Tri means three, okay? So I need to collect the data with multiple sources of angle to understand you because I'm only looking at one person here. Are you with me? So. Uh, this is the uh, theoretical framework of the uh, case study. Well, we pick up small numbers of people. It could be one, it could be five, or it could be ten. Because we pick up small numbers of people there, we need to collect multiple angles of data. It could be observation, it could be diary. Maybe I can ask you uh, to write a diary for me. Uh, after the interview, thinking about what could be the meaning-making process of your uh, learning English in South Korea, and things like that. Are you with me? Yeah. Uh, last session, you told me about the, the number here. So uh, that could be the, uh, the logic of the case study, ethnography, and uh, so that's why we should pick up multiple sources of data uh, collection to validate our study. What we are looking at is only one person there, okay? 
Then how about the ground theory? Multiple source of data or not? What? Ground theory. Isn't that the whole thing now? Ground theory is qualitative theory. So uh, for this one, multiple source of data. For case study, yes, obviously. Uh, multiple source of data. Ground theory. Yes, ground theory. Uh, you have to collect the uh, multiple source of data. How about the phenomenology? How about the phenomenology? Uh, first of all, we have to understand about the logic of the uh, phenomenology. Uh, so, uh, mm, it's more like philosophical. It's more like uh, logic and things like that. Um, when you conduct the uh, ph phenomenology studies, uh, you're going to see a couple of examples later. Normally, uh, they do not collect the uh, multiple source of, sources of data. Interview itself is enough, okay? Because uh, what you are looking at here in the phenomenology is uh, try to understand the way people make meaning, meaning processes out of their lives. Let me give you an example, the way how to conduct the uh, phenomenology. Uh, Natasha, uh, are you happy? <laughs> when you feel happy? Yeah, very much. Tell me when and maybe why. Maybe you can pick up a context where you could feel happy. Eating much. <clears throat> eating much? Eating much. Oh, eating much. Uh, how about you? Uh, playing music. Huh? Playing music. Oh, playing music, yeah. So playing music, eating much, and... Uh, rich man, Become a rich man. Yes. Become a rich man. Rich man. When you... Find a rich man? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, okay. And uh, how about... Uh, become rich and beautiful woman. Yeah. So, uh, for, for the case of me, when I feel happy, I feel happy when uh, students' learning happens and if I could be of health. So uh, everyone, everyone has their own meanings about the happiness, right? We understand, we know that what happiness means, but uh, the meaning-making process is quite different. For some cases, maybe overlapped, but not necessarily, okay? So for my case, maybe uh, uh, my happiness is related with my teaching and learning in this field and yours is related with the food, delicious food and things like that. And there is no such thing as right or wrong. You can have your own right and I can have my own right. So uh, if you are interested in me and you wonder why, why learning and teaching uh, makes you happy, then I could possibly give you tons of thousands of explanation based upon my experience. And so those are for phenomenology, okay? They are looking at the uh, intersubjectivity between observer and observed person, okay? So if I'm an ob uh, observer, maybe I can keep on watching you and try to figure out something that I couldn't understand at all, okay? Okay, then how about the uh, life history? Data triangulation, yes or no? Life history? Is it this, this going to be the same as phenomenology? Yeah, phenomenology. <laughs> yeah. so it's like exactly like uh, phen phenomenology, but different because it look at the uh, a specific person's life. For example, uh, T-cell uh, 
maybe a teacher or a student or like that. How about the action research? Yeah, this is quite popular one. <clears throat> action research. You, the purpose of your study is to improve uh, your learning and teaching there. And so uh, if you conduct the uh, action research still, you can have a small number of participants, but uh, you can do, you have to do the uh, data triangulation. Okay? You have to do the data, data triangulation. And how about the uh, conversation analysis? Conversation analysis? Triangulation. Data triangulation or not? Yes or no? Yes. No. Because there are millions of cases where you can see a transcription only and inter there are many interpretations. So what they're looking at is the uh, actual uh, conversation and things like that. So single data source. Okay? So talking about the uh, multiple source of data, when uh, usually they do uh, this kind of things, so we see uh, uh, how can I put the color? I don't know, but anyway. So let's make it uh, those guys weaker. Phenomenology, you don't have to. Life history, oh, you don't have to. So single data is enough. And conversation analysis as well. So those are the guys who didn't do uh, data uh, triangulation. Usually, they just provide the uh, single data, like conversation or interview. That's it. So when uh, talking about the tradition, uh, when they uh, use the uh, data source, uh, multiple source, sources of data, like they provide the uh, interview. Okay, interview and observation uh, could be the uh, key. And then uh, another sources, uh, other sources like documents or other sources, yes, documents or pictures or things like that. Anything, it could be anything. Okay, so uh, uh, for some researchers, they instead of saying uh, data triangulation, data triangulation, uh, they talk about the uh, uh, data crystallization, okay? Data crystallization is very popular notion that are respected uh, from many, many uh, researchers of our field. So when you conduct ethnography, case study, ground theory, and action research, you need to collect at least three different sources of data to validate your findings of the study. And you have to remember that Lincoln and Goober, who are fathers of our correlated research field, a uh, long time ago, they emphasized the importance of the uh, uh, data triangulation, especially for the case study, because what we are looking at is only one person or uh, three, maybe or, uh, small numbers of person, uh, small, small numbers of people. So uh, Lincoln and Huber used to be one of the famous quantitative researchers in the field at that time. And suddenly they changed their mind. They always looked at 100 or 1,000 uh, people and do the survey and things like that. And from the quantitative studies, we could, could possibly get the trend, okay? Belief or things like that. Especially for the election like that, who could be the uh, the next president, and things like that, we could create some numbers there. Look, uh, 95 out of 100 people believe that such and such a guy will be the president of the uh, Korea, and things like that. Uh, from the data, uh, we could possibly uh, get the results like, okay, 
we can show the trend, tendency of the people, their belief. But we, what we cannot know about the, uh, in detail especially, about the uh, uh, people's belief toward the uh, next president is like why and how and things like that. People lie as well. Right. Sometimes they told, told us a lot of lies. So uh, there is no point of checking that one from single data source, which is a survey. Okay? When you survey people, they talk about good things or sometimes they exaggerate what they think or what they show. So uh, Lincoln and Cuba believe that uh, from the statistical analysis, they could get the uh, general tendency only, but not in detail, in depth manner. And so they created the notion of qualitative research like that. Uh, case study ground theory, action research. For, the, for, for, for this one, by having multiple sources of data, researchers can validate the findings. Okay? Validate. So it's more like uh, for uh, why uh, these notions are important. Uh, well, this one talks about how many participants you need and how you can code your data. Okay? So that's because those notions are critical uh, in understanding about the research methodology, especially the uh, qualitative research methodology. Uh, this, this claim is not only from me, but you can see Creswell, Creswell, Baez, Holiday, Richards, especially Richards and Holiday is from our field, English teaching and qualitative research in general. So here I kept on telling you about the uh, how to code and the, the theory, and as, uh, again, we do have a spreader and workup as claim and things like that, so that you could read it uh, later. And also Creswell, we have to talk, talk about the Creswell, develops the uh, mixed methodology. Uh, you can conduct quantitative research as well as the uh, qualitative one. So he proposed the uh, uh, research design telling us that the uh, Three Beijing mixed mass of designs, convergent design, and uh, three basic myths again. So, uh, starting from quantitative research, moves to qual qualitative or vice versa, or doing it at the same time, and things like that. So, uh, a lot of people pay uh, respect to. Uh, uh, him uh, because of his uh, research methodology and uh, uh, he, he, uh, he was the uh, student of the uh, Lincoln and Cuba and so uh, Sorry. Sorry. Lincoln and Cuba was the best student. Can you, can was, you spell that for me please? Sir? Pardon me? Something in Google? Lincoln and Cuba. Oh, Cuba. Oh, Cuba. <laughs> Lincoln and Cuba? Not Google, Cuba. Cuba? G O G U B A. G U B A. Lincoln and Cuba. Okay, thank you. Uh, I was putting Google now. Yeah. <laughs> and so Lincoln and Cuba is our father, is the uh, uh, they uh, delimited the uh, notion, quantitative, qualitative, and especially their naturalistic inquiry. Uh, published in 1985 is the, uh, the, the best one that you could possibly get the understanding about what's going on there. And so uh, Lincoln and Guba's the best student, Creswell, uh, works fine. And the, uh, your main textbook is, uh, we are going to talk a lot about that. Uh, from your main textbook, uh, you are going to present your uh, ideas from your reading and things like that. So we are going to move to the Beijing notion and general conversations uh, later. 
uh, in detail. Okay. Uh, especially focusing on the uh, English teaching, uh, here I talk about the uh, need for computer-based aided qualitative data analysis system, uh, CACDAS, this is what they call. So although Cresswell presented sophisticated mixed mass research models, he did not provide specific methods for integrating uh, quantitative and qualitative data uh, using computers. He just proposed the uh, research model, but he did not provide the practical issue of how. So uh, in English education in Korea, qualitative data analysis using computers has not received much attention yet as of March 2020. Uh, currently, only 18 papers are using MVivo as the primary tool. So uh, the research topics are teacher beliefs, teacher behavior studies, and a couple of uh, things like that. So you can see a reference right here. Okay. Uh, I'm moving to uh, connecting and people R1 techniques with the previous studies. So uh, the following table represents the list of MVivo R1 essential functions and the related previous studies utilizing the significant, significant functions of, of MVivo R1. So uh, if you take a look at table 13, I provide the uh, couple of techniques here. Literature review. When you uh, do the literature review, uh, no matter what research methodology it is, it could be quantitative or qualitative, you do have extensive literature review so that, remember the map that I uh, presented before, the research background, there you read a lot of the uh, uh, related uh, research so uh, MVivo technique, with MVivo you can do it uh, very efficiently. And so uh, uh, you could see, uh, we are gonna do it later, okay, for the uh, section of the search. So uh, uh, the related literature, you can see the previous studies did the literature review with MVivo, okay? Or classification coding, for the case of coding, Matrix coding is a quite popular one, but uh, there are many different ways of searching. So we are gonna train for that, like cross-tab, sentiment analysis, and cluster analysis, or social network analysis, and mapping, and things like that. So uh, uh, we are gonna uh, practice the, uh, uh, this kind of uh, major functions of MVivo R1, uh, starting from next week, and so uh, you see a couple of big examples and steps and things like that. Uh, I think this is the uh, the core part of the uh, theoretical backgrounds of the uh, uh, research in general, and so uh, you could read the uh, related issues later. And I think this is a, the best time for our, us to move on uh, to the second section, okay? Okay, uh, so we are gonna Start with the uh, 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 starting uh, from this session, we are gonna uh, practice how to import and how to call the data in MVivo R1. Okay. So in order to do that, obviously you do have, have you should have what? MVivo on your computer. Yes. Okay. 
Double click on the MB bar. Okay, MB bar. So working fine. Terrible, fine, working very good, or what? So are you with me? Uh, they, they have to take a bit of time. Take time? Yeah, probably in five minutes. Do you need a bit of time? <laughs> uh, okay, start uh, while you, you are working on that. Let me start this one. So, uh, in MPVO, uh, we have the uh, uh, new project. Okay, click on the new project. If you click on the new project, you have to uh, type the uh, your project name, okay? So the project na name is Let Me Graduate. So you can type on that. Let Me Graduate, maybe uh, ASAP. Let, uh, and so project title. And so uh, click on the next and uh, click on the uh, create project. And then you can create the uh, uh, project. And when you see this one, just ignore that, that one. So you can skip tour. And then you see a uh, let me uh, graduate ASAP.mvp. So extension for this one is MVP, okay? Are you with me? And so, uh, when you see the, when you see uh, this one, just close this one. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Where, uh, when you import, you can work on right, right there. Import the data. Under the data, there are files and file classifications and externals. Externals, what does external mean is that the actual data is not here, but it should be somewhere, and I can put the code right here. Or if you import the uh, endnote data, uh, you could use it as externals. Or uh, if you would like to conduct research from online-based data, data, for example, maybe uh, from the Twitter, you can get the data very quickly, and you can conduct a study. Uh, maybe uh, if you're interested in looking at people's trend or people's ways of thinking or like that, you can conduct the uh, social network analysis from the Twitter and get the data automatically. And so uh, external is the, the place where you can collect the data. But basically what you need to do is to uh, uh, files from here and so uh, when you uh, uh, import the data into MBO then uh, you can code them okay you can call them one by one and then once you finish your coding then you can do a very uh, delicate searches by using cases so you have to create a case to uh, do the search right there, and uh, uh, you can conduct multiple queries right here, or you can visualize your data to uh, a group of people. Look, this is my research and things like that. And also the reports about your project in general. And if you uh, take a look at here, uh, File is right there, home, and you can import the data. Import is really import, important here. What, what you can import like project and capture, and capture is, is the one that you uh, collect the data from the internet, okay? So, and also you can collect, you can import the files, you can import the survey data right here, or you can import the classifications. 
and bibliography and things like that. And notes and email, uh, I rarely do use, use this one, but if you are interested in conduct, conducting a research, looking at the uh, emails, you can of course do this one. And codebook talks about the uh, number, numbers of codes, uh, things like that, and report, general report, okay? And also, you can create the data. If you cre create the data right here, you can create a memo here, or framework matrix. You can cre create a framework matrix here, uh, or uh, the relationship. You can take a look at the relationship. Why? If you are interested in looking at the uh, relationship and uh, try to map the data, you can do it from here. So it could be the basic uh, data basis where you can work the SNA or code, document, case, cases, and things like that. And explore. Explore is the place where you can search. Okay, so you can explore uh, word or text or uh, matrix coding carry. Uh, well, matrix coding query is the basic one, row and column and things like that. So you can explore the data. And queries, you can do coding, cross-tab, uh, coding comparison, compound, group, and things like that. Uh, I think those are great tools that you can explore what's going on in the data, okay? And chart, you can create a chart for your data hierarchy chart, or map, you can create a map, or diagrams. In the diagram, cluster analysis is one of the most popular one. Uh, and if you uh, conduct cluster analysis, uh, you might get much better uh, future than now. Ha, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, uh, social network analysis, yeah. You can conduct the uh, network sociogram or egocentric sociogram network. So in order to do that, uh, you need to have mayors, okay, uh, from a couple of people and things like that. Or maybe you can create the uh, relationship. And once you create a relationship, you can conduct the uh, social network analysis. And share talks about how to share your data, your project to other people. It could, or how, how you could export the data. Modules, um, when you especially work with the uh, colleagues or uh, a lot of people around, you can uh, use the uh, collaboration cloud here. And transcription. Uh, in MVivo, uh, if you uh, click on the uh, uh, transcription, they ask you uh, to log in. So, because you uh, download the, the demo version of MVivo, you do have an account there. So, what this one does is drag me to the to 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 my account and to make to make me uh, log in. Okay, so. When you need a transcription, uh, this could be one way of transcribe your data, but um, uh, for the, uh, the language support for this one, uh, yeah, Chinese, yes, and English and Portugal, Portuguese, Spanish, and things like that, but not Koreans. So they do not support uh, Korean language here. Uh, so. Uh, which is good news for all of you, okay? <laughs> but uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the case of Korean language, we, everyone has mobile, okay? So once the, uh, we uh, put on the, uh, what, what, once I, uh, I interview people, we do have a system like directly transcribe spoken words into text, okay? Our mobile, Korean mobile does that a lot for the research say, So we don't have no problem at all, even though they do not support us. 
I wonder why do they uh, do that? Maybe they hate Koreans, maybe. And so uh, I wish they could support uh, Korean languages uh, in the future. Having said that, okay, let me import the data first of all. When you import the data, uh, if you click on the import, uh, you can import project and capture data, files, survey, and things like that. And so uh, uh, maybe I could possibly uh, bring up the uh, project then. So click on the project, okay? Click on the project. If you click on the project, uh, it talks about where. So if you browse, uh, for my case, uh, in the document, uh, AMB board related, uh, my work is right here. So for my case, right here, I do have previous works. But uh, for the, For, uh, for the demonstration's sake, uh, I do have MBIVO data. Uh, let's see if I click on that. Uh, for, your, okay, for your spring, remember spring qualitative research methodology right here. Uh, I do have uh, data, so uh, uh, data like that. And so from here, I could get uh, many uh, data here. And so uh, uh, if you click on the uh, second part of the uh, research and things like that, if you click on the searching and theory, theorizing, I do have a qualitative uh, project right here. So I can go anywhere here. And let me go back to uh, <clears throat> import here. If I click on the project, and if I browse, I can go there, okay? So the place that I should go is the uh, right here, and I do have right here. And uh, for your class, qualitative research, and we will run workshop, and if I search, search and theorizing, also, I do have in here uh, the framework matrix right, like that. If I click on that, and if I open it up, it will bring up the uh, uh, framework. Oh, yeah. It'll bring up the uh, framework matrix project. So, uh, Uh, yeah, this way you can uh, collect. You, you you can bring up the uh, the project that you have worked on previous previously, and so uh, I think that uh, may I okay. So if I click on the import, that will bring up the uh, framework matrix right here, the project that I worked before. Okay, so you can see here. And that way you can import uh, many uh, data here. And so let's do the uh, uh, end capture. So if you uh, click on the end capture, I do have uh, many data. And if I click on the mom cafe, if I click on that, and if I import, that will bring up the data. And so you might be quite interested in on looking at how. And so let me show you. In order to do that, uh, in order to do that, I I I have to exit the uh, MB one. Uh, so I saved it and I'm I'm out here. And let me again. Uh, I'm gonna show you the way how I could get the data from the uh, internet. If you click on the uh, MBIVO again, in the beginning, you see a couple of the uh, small, mini, uh, uh, 
icons there. Here, yeah, right here. This is the LinkedIn, and this is Facebook, and this is Twitter, and the blog, and things like that. And so uh, for uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, or others, uh, you can use the end capture right here, like that. So if I let's go to uh, uh, LinkedIn, if I click on that, I could go to the LinkedIn. And in the LinkedIn, when you go to the LinkedIn, you have to take a look at this one. Uh, this is the uh, end capture tool. So uh, if you uh, click on that, you see a web page as a PDF, article as a PDF, things like that. So you click on the uh, web page as a PDF, and then click on the capture. So it captures the, uh, the data here, but only PDF, okay, only one page, okay, and so uh, uh, let me then uh, go to uh, Twitter. Twitter, with the Twitter, you can do a lot of work, which is quite uh, uh, good for your research. I went to the uh, MBO by QSR Windows there. And so again, I do have a capture here, the tool here. If I click on that, look at this one. Twitch as a data set. What does that mean is that if you uh, capture this one, it will show you how many people Twitch here, a little bit here, and things like that. Okay? And so if I, let me uh, capture on that. I captured the data right there, and in order to do that, authorize app, and redirect you right here, and what this one does, what Twitter does is give me the basic data from the beginning of the uh, uh, Twitter to the latest one. So it could, be, it could be maybe more than 10 years or things like that, okay? How do you get to the capture screen? Uh, yeah, so uh, I have to use this one and may, uh, let me... Uh, oh, that's an extension. And then... Uh, okay. So, uh, okay, let me uh, graduate, uh, let me open up the... Uh, uh, let me graduate ASAP. And here, yes. when you... Uh, okay, I need the... Uh, Twitter data, and I need a link, a LinkedIn data. So in order to see it, you have to go to the externals. And if you go to external, and import and, and capture, if you click on that, you see the latest data that I uh, collected, that I clicked on, to uh, the uh, LinkedIn data and LinkedIn data and the, uh, uh, okay, right here, Twitter, the Twitter data. And again, uh, QSR, Twitter data again. So I, if I, I click on that, and if I ask import, it will give me the data. It will, so uh, it, uh, where you can see it, you can see it at the external. If you uh, click on external, uh, I see here, and also if I click on the files, you see the data that I imported uh, from uh, Twitter for QSR. If I click on that, if I click on that, you see this one, the table, so if you take a look at the table, ID number one, two, three, four, a Twitter ID, username, tweet, and things like that. They do provide a form for that, and also chart. So it's like X and Y things. So who posted when, and number of tweets, and things like that. And if you uh, do the cluster analysis, what they do is to cluster data uh, based upon uh, the uh, tweets and retweets right here. So if you take a look at this one, so uh, 
it shows the uh, uh, relationships and clusters like John Cressel and C.C. W. Jacobs have a relationship and things like that. Or you can see the map here. So who posted it from where? Okay. So as you can see many people posted like like that. And uh, let's take take a look at your Korean, Korean, North Korean. Uh, where, where? Oh yeah, Japan. Uh, Tokyo, Japan. Two. No, Korea is here. <laughs> no postings here. How about China? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of posting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if I, if I click on that, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, when technology meets narratives, read the blog of training on using uh, MBVO, blah, blah, blah. Okay? That way you can see the data. And one thing good about this one, especially for Twitter, is uh, Twitter social gram. If you click on that, if you click on that, uh, you can see a very fancy, uh, wonderful, two the pool, three the pool things. And so, in order to uh, analyze this one, at least you have to. You have to have a concept of the uh, what social gram is about, and what uh, retweets and mentions and th things like that. So if you uh, click on the uh, degree in, it will show different ways of the uh, uh, what's going on here. And so, based upon your research purpose, you can do a couple of searches here and show people about what's going on here. Okay. And so uh, that could be an example of the uh, Twitter. And uh, another example uh, for uh, so uh, Twitter, Mount Cafe. Yeah, if I click on that, uh, basically it does show the, uh, the same thing here. The structure is the same, but the content is different. This one talks about the uh, working mom in South Korea. Okay. And I did conduct a research, uh, which I'm going to show you later, but it talks about the working mom, and we collected the data from uh, Twitter, and so here we have uh, 6127 uh, IDs here, and tweet and retweet and things like that. So I'm going to uh, deal with, with this one. Uh, later, I'm going to demonstrate it, and we are going to practice it later. Uh, but, uh, what? Huh? So, at the age of, let's say, uh, 35 to uh, uh, 40, uh, Korean women uh, having child and need to take care of the uh, kids, at the, same, at the same time, work in the office. So they talk about their life and things like that. OK. Uh, OK, let's go back to uh, import again. I imported the uh, capture data. And next thing, from files. OK? If I click on the files, uh, I need to. Uh, Okay, let's see. Uh, here, what I'm saying by uh, raw data, raw data. Why don't you uh, open up the uh, closed coding, shift and open, then import. Then that data will be imported here. And uh, uh, if I click on the uh, the data here, I do have an open coding here, so uh, chest diary, uh, so I import this one. If I click on the open, it will be opened. Again, uh, files, yeah. Files, okay. Uh, why group? Uh, why why anti-group discussion? Okay, yeah, I think that, that that's good too. So if I uh, uh, 
click those one and I can open it up and I can import the data. And again, if I click on the file, then I can go to uh, upper level. So here I do have uh, 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 the real crash and things here. If I click on import, I'm importing the uh, video, file, video file, okay? And so I can uh, make it like real question. And let me uh, click on the uh, data, the raw data here again. I do have a disruptive group, best environment for uh, revert, top and lay, GRAD post test. So I can uh, open this one and uh, import here. So, uh, so far, uh, I imported a lot of data, a lot of data uh, from online and from off offline from uh, my 